Hi, this is Minez Marie, the soldier of Mary. I'm continuing in our investigation of the presence of St. Josemaria Escriva at Garabandao during the days of the apparitions. In this video, I'm going to look at some of the evidence in the recent interview book by Jose Marie Zavala. The end times are already here. The interview uh, with Jacinta Jacinta of Garabandao who uh, gave him a very lengthy interview over three days talking about various things from the days of the apparitions also things uh, her opinion on the state of the church her opinion about uh, the unfolding of the uh, so-called prophetic element of Garabandal. one thing they talk about is saint Jose Maria and his attendance in the days of the apparitions first of all a bit of information on the interviewer Jose Maria Zavala. We find out in the book, and some of you may know this already if, if you are a follower of this a gentleman's uh, work and his journalistic career. We find out in this book that his parents belonged to Opus Dei. They were, in fact, his, well, his dad, in fact, was one of the first supernumeraries in Spain. And he had the opportunity of uh, dealing with Saint Jose Maria de Escriva. He knew, he knew St. Josemaria Escriva, that is the, the author, the interviewer's father, knew him quite well. Um, supernumerary means that he was um, a member of the prelature. Uh, that is that he had, um, well, you'll know better than I do what the supernumerary is, probably some of you. Uh, supernumeraries are married uh, members of Opus Dei. They, they live and work in the world, uh, yet they receive spiritual support um, and canonically, they are under the spiritual guidance of the of the priests of Opus Dei. Okay, so following the links of the interview with Opus Dei, his family, his dad, etc., we get a discussion about Saint Jose Maria and his attendance in Garabandal on page one hundred and one. They've just been talking about various famous personages who visited Garabandal during the days of the apparitions, and the author. Uh, asks her, I'm going to try and translate as we go. I suppose you will have heard people talking about Saint Jose Maria Escriva. And she answers, The founder of Opus Dei, of course. He was in Garabandal various times during the apparitions, were, while the apparitions were happening. I know the one of these occasions took place in the summer of 1962 while the priests were spending some days of rest in the Cantabrian area of Swanthes. He visited the town and he went up to the pines where the Virgin appeared to us. The interviewer then continues. That same fact was confirmed to me in uh, at that time or around that time by a priest of Opus Dei who accompanied him there. Surely you knew Saint of Saint Jose Maria, she replies. Um, you know, I didn't. Um, or pay, maybe I did, but I, I don't remember well. Many people were com coming back then to the town, and it was very difficult to preserve a memory of each one of them. But I believe that Mary Cuth remembers about him. I can say through testimonies of other people that he was a very good and exemplary priest. When my mom was sick, it was just a little bit before that time that Saint Jose Maria died. He adds, she, he died, the saint died in 1975. She replies, I remember that when still he had not been raised to the altars, uh, some people gave me a holy card of his that um, I would pray, I would use to pray to him for the health of my mum. I said to her, Mum, I'm going to make a prayer to St. Jose Maria de Balaga so that he might intercede for you. My mum asked me what she was needing at that moment. And I replied to her, well, that he might help you. That is, that he might intercede for your cure, or if not, 
that he might accompany you to the next life. And then she uh, agreed, assented, consented. Oh, well, very well then, do it. I said the prayer before a crucifix, uh, doing the Our Father, and as soon as I finished, my mother died right beside me. So there we go. Certainly seems that we have yet more evidence that Saint Jose Maria Escriva was in Garabandao during the days of the apparitions. Clearly, um, Hadinta refers back to Mary Cuth's uh, earlier interview, right? That earlier interview that I referred to in the previous video, that is a point of reference because she says, yeah, Mary Cuth remembers Saint Jose Maria being there, but we also get here added the fact that the interviewer, who already mentioned, has links to Opus. He says that a priest, a priest of Opus Dei, also that accompanied him, that accompanied St. Jose Maria to Garabandau, uh, confirmed that he did go to Garabandau. And here also we get given a date, a, a year. And uh, the summer of 1962, a number of occasions, one of the occasions was the summer of 1962, when he was staying, we're told the place, Swanthes. I don't know exactly where that is, but, you know, it's in Cantabria somewhere. And and he just snuck out for, a, it was some days of holiday. And so we're going to hear the official response from Opus Dei in a forthcoming video but let's keep some of those facts in mind as we go ahead so we now have another piece of evidence that saint Josemar escriba was present seemed to follow seemed to agree with seemed to be interested in the apparitions of garabandao and in this most recent book um Athinta is kind of connecting him to Garabandao. They try and connect a few other people in this book to Garabandao. Most uh, most significantly, obviously, St. Padre Pio. They connect him to Garabandao. They try and connect... Uh, one of the funny things about this book is pretty much everyone they uh, talk about, they say, oh yeah, yeah, I think he was in favour of Garabandao. I'm not sure there's ever anyone that they, they mention, anyone holy, that they mention, and then they say, oh no, he, he didn't like Garabandao at all. So everyone kind of in this book, they, they kind of positively presume that he liked Garabandao. But in St. Jose Maria's case, he went there a number of times and uh, a priest that went there with him uh, confirms to the author, to the interviewer, yes, this happened. And two of the seers now are saying that St. Jose Maria Escriba was present in Garabandao. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.